Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Midweek War. I am not Mad Mike. I am Sorgatron at Sorgatron on the Twitters here in the Beachview Studio, a Sorgatron Media Studio in Pittsburgh, PA. And Mike is enjoying uh, is enjoying New York Comic Con right now. I just saw a picture on his Facebook with him with Tara Strong of all people. Uh, and Neil deGrasse Tyson is watching. What, what's that? Neil, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's watching. He's, he's watching Neil deGrasse Tyson. That's amazing. Yeah. But Versus anyways, Mike Tyson. We, but we have people to fill in here for tonight to help us with the midweek war. Of course, you just heard the one. It's Bobby F. J-Town from Johnstown, PA. What's up? <laughs> there you About go. to make it 205 Live up in here. <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, he did that. He did that. <laughs> also with us is Lenzo. Sorg. Lenzo. How you doing? Le- how you doing? <laughs> you gotta do the dance like Chad was doing. The, no, <laughs> I, don't know, I love that you're doing the dance, but you're just you gotta move like more body with it. Like the entire I'm sitting body down. moves. I'm sitting well, down in well, a sponge. What do you think Chad did? You know. <laughs> I don't know, but that guy walking by was really concerned by him. Yeah, well, I mean, he should be. Uh, There's some fun. weird characters in in here. <laughs> By the way, did we lock the door? We'll did figure we out between shows. <laughs> but this is the Midweek War. This is where we talk about the Midweek War. And this, this episode is 205 Live. And we like to start the show with your word of the week. What was your word of the week for 205 Live, Larry? William. William? William. 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 As in William the third. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh Bobby F. J Tan J Town, do you have a word of the week? PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> the word your Very word good. is PowerPoint. Very good. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. It's Microsoft, so it's one word. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um my <laughs> one word, both letters capitalized. My word is discount. Oh, discount. Double check. D- no. No, no, no. And we'll get into. <laughs> All right, what was your good of the week, ladies and gentlemen, for 205 Live? Who wants to go first? My good of the week would have to be Cedric Alexander finally snapping. Yeah, and having a killer match with Jack Gallagher. We a, find, a killer yeah. match, but before that, just going off on Brian uh, Kendrick, like right in the middle of his interview, just he just lost it. So, so, so basically, <laughs> thanks to Brian Kendrick, everybody else has like stepped it up and become more serious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And more interesting, I guess. I think so. This is the plan the whole time, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I th- I think, uh, yeah. (laughs) Sorry, I got confused because I'm trying to remember if I brought my coffee in here. Uh, Don't worry about it. No, no, that's a different one. Don't worry about it. I'll have to check it out. Uh, But anyways, uh, no, uh, no, I'm with you on that. It it, it was good seeing Jack Alher, like this new version of Jack Alher. I love it. It it. I love it. It reminds me of bitter, angry Regal. It does a little bit, but like just a little more proper. Creepier. Yeah. It makes me sad, though. Why are you sad, Bobby? Because... Jack Gallagher was like one of my favorites, and I was, yeah, but I he was mean. getting stale, and they were putting him in clown suit. I don't know, about yeah, but that was the point: is putting him in the yeah. clown suit was to get him to this point, right? I don't know. I I, I like I like the fresh character uh, changes that they've been doing, with the exception of one, but we'll get to that. I guess we and will. So, what Bob, was, Bobby, what? Bobby, what's your, what's your good of the week? Um, PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> so that that match between uh, Drew Gulak and, and Mustafa Ali was amazing. Mm-hmm. So that's that's my good of the week. Mustafa Ali is, is amazing. This was really a week for everybody to kind of get featured, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Like we it, didn't have Neville, we didn't have Enzo really going at it and taking any space it, here. Everybody this else. Was, it's yeah. like we went back to uh, Callisto coming up. But Callisto's a guy that hasn't been uh, featured in a while, right? At least they six fi- months. Hey, they finally turned him into Pac Man. They finally what? They finally yeah. turned him into Pac-Man. His mask's yellow with the the black eyes and just you know the 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 pew. Is that what you've been waiting for? Is that is yes. that yes? Yes. He's finally Pac-Man. Now he's gonna eat balls and <laughs> ghosts. Uh, Sorg, okay. what was your good of the week? My good of the week. I mean, there, there was a lot of you know, there's a lot that you guys were talking about too. Um, but I'd have to say, you know, my good my good is 
is Kalisto is on here and getting featured, yeah. and I, and it's a little of like, hey, this guy's finally here, so of course we're going to do a, like a run at the title with him, right? Um, but <laughs> my and I guess this will roll into my bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, it feels very discount Lucha Underground. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it's no fault of Kalisto. My my bad of the week was also Kalisto. Okay. Because I feel like it's the same. I'm oh, sorry. Is that on the TV up there? There's nothing on the oh, there's TV. Nothing on the TV. I feel like it's the same Kalisto. Okay. Like but this. He's got a cool this was mask. a. Ch- th- he hasn't been on TV in six months. Like this was a great opportunity for him to do something new and fresh with his character. And he's he beat Braun Strowman in a dumpster match, that, though. Yeah, but that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. He's the same underdog, cheery Kalisto. Yeah. That you saw facing people twice his size, only he's just doing it with people his size. There is no reason why Davari should have been like making it as competitive as it was if he's supposed to be the guy to take out Enzo and win the championship. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it just it felt like he was the same Kalisto doing the same stuff he's been doing for the last three years against other opponents that were. But, but with people that don't make him look like a small child. Yeah, but yeah. that's the thing is though the, he didn't look. So Neville looked when he came out and turned heel, he was imposing, right? Mm-hmm. He was it was a fresh new character that he had. It, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not invested with with Kalisto, Kalisto mm-hmm. because it's nothing new. Well, He's it's also but it's also just started. Like there's been nothing yeah. to invest oh, sure. in up until this point. Sure. What happens sure. now? With but uh, but w- I mean, with his promo and still doing the lucha <laughs> stuff, like I mean, I'm sorry, it, I'm nothing's just noticing, changed. Are you, like as you're talking about Kalisto, I feel like your Enzo hair is getting flatter and flatter it's, as we it's go. It's getting really sad, man. It's it is, it's, it is, it is. The good of the by the way, as we're in the yeah. depressing part of this, no. well, I want to give a shout out to everybody in the chat room. I didn't realize how how much <laughs> Jennifer Carlin says two hundred five side. 205 Live sucks, so it's good that I brought this up in here. And then otherwise, we have uh, friends of the show, Chris LaRusso, Matt Connard, and Laura Loveless asking why we haven't booked Laura Loveless for the Indie Mayhem show yet. Um, we'll be in touch on Facebook. We've actually, Chris you're, LaRusso, you're, my rival? You're, yeah, yes, Bobby's. That's why he showed up, because <laughs> Bobby's here. That's His why, nemesis. That's why. Yes. I got a mask now, Chris. And Jared says that the <laughs> Enzo wig is the realest uh is the realest hair in the room who said that uh jared out there thank you jared there you go i've been working on um, it all night although it's just looking like you know after like the dog has been like outside in the rain for a while well it is raining outside and and it is raining like outside. is it, it maybe i how is fake hair like that like affected by by the mugginess that's happening today is that what's happening right no, now? no the problem is it's these headphones <laughs> oh there's headphones okay the headphones are I pulling know, you it down. get tips from from how chad does that on tuesday I, nights i don't know he, he it's a gift it's not a gift. everybody can pull off this is hair that like a chad. gift is that what you re- refer to as a gift for for chad yeah, certainly run. all right what's your bad of this week who me yes i told you it was Kalisto. yes yes yeah, Cal- bobby Kalisto. what was your bad um oh, what was i gonna say i can't remember now that's not a bad thing. Was it also Kalisto? Um, was it was it that I you don't? Know? Yeah, it it had something to do with Kalisto. Um, it's that now that we got, we all wished for Enzo. Well, not not everybody wished for Enzo to be in the cruiserweight division, but I that was one of my wishes. Enzo was in the cruiserweight division, and uh, Kalisto were in the cruiserweight division. Now it feels like. You know that we got those two guys in in the cruiserweight division. Now all the other cruiserweights don't matter anymore. Yeah. Like everybody from the CWC, it was like, "Thanks for coming, guys. We got our new champions now. They're the main eventers. I don't know. You guys I, take a back seat." I feel like so. The fact that they're changing up all these characters right now is a good thing because it was stale. Right, I mean, we were seeing the same thing over and over. And again. Is that the fault of the talent? Mm-hmm. Is that the fault of the writers? Is, is it? Is it? It, it doesn't really matter. They're though. bringing the f- people that are a little more established on the main shows and bringing them over to to build around. Like, hopefully, the idea but is there's. Oh, good. Uh, like hopefully, the idea is you bring these guys who make more people watch the show and hopefully prop up the people that are there and kind of live on that show, right? So, mm-hmm. not that they will go away, but then they can be stepped back and then a Cedric Alexander steps up into those the the roles of Neville Kalisto 
uh, uh, Enzo, right? Yeah, and they're they're still doing compelling stories with all those guys. Like mm-hmm. the stuff with Jack Gallagher and Cedric yeah. Alexander is great. Mm-hmm. You know, the stuff with Drew Gulak and whoever's flying in the air or making loud noises and cheering is awesome. You know, they're good no storylines. It's entertaining. No chanting. No chanting. That's what it was. No chanting. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there's someday we'll see the rest of those slides too. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Forever. That was great. Um, and it's cool. It's okay. gonna be like the list of uh, a thousand moves. Yes, it is. It's the greatest thing. Jericho's since long thousand and four moves. <laughs> Fax machine man list. of a thousand and four moves. It's gonna go the entire hour. Just <laughs> li- <laughs> one, one long PowerPoint presentation. Anyways, uh, what would you change for this week, guys? Hmm. Hmm? I don't like Kalisto's Dragon Ball Z armor. That was very Dragon Ball Z. It was. <laughs> like, I, I think he took. I think. I think Xavier gave it to him, and he just tweaked it a little bit for yeah, WrestleMania. It's not like it's not funny and ironic like it is for for them, uh, for for the New Day. It's it's. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the dude came out his debut for Two Hundred Five Live. Came out on the main event of Raw, and beat Enzo's ass. I feel like you know cause he's in too good of a mood. <laughs> I was sitting there on Monday night, and I'm just like, they were talking about this new guy we just signed at 205 Live, and I'm just like, man, it'd be great to, to be Ray Mysterio. You did. Out of you just said that. Like, I think, it'd be great to see Ray Mysterio. Like, you were here when we were yeah. doing that. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I, and, called, and, I called. Oh, good. What was I was going to say, and then it was like, okay, we got the substitute Ray Mysterio. And I feel so bad for saying that to, about Kalisto. Just knock off Ray. I yeah. called him Ray Mysterio Jr. Jr. Kind of, right? Like, he is WWE. WWE is treating him like, mm-hmm. th- oh, yeah, all that stuff we did with Ray Ray. He's basically Ray Ray. Let's just do now, the same stuff. You know what my problem with him is? Hmm. He is TJ Perkins when he first came into 205 Live. You think? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's got he's He's got an overdose of good guy syndrome. And that is it. Like, Gotta break a you could kick force. him in the mouth, and he would say, thank you, have a nice day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You gotta break a few N64s to to make an omelet. Wait, what? <laughs> my, change for this w- <laughs> my change for this week is, um, um, Kaliso has been, like, he's been in the Battle Royals, there's been other things, he came out Monday night in these sweet masks, right? Like, oh, that, that looks cool, like, it's a different identity and stuff. And then, like we were talking about, aside from, like, this kind of Dragon Ball Z getup, like it feels very like discount Ray, discount Lucha, dis you know, kind of thing. It didn't really stick out the way whatever interesting stuff he's been doing when they haven't had anything interesting to do with him. Mm-hmm. Son of Drago. Why couldn't they kind of? Why couldn't <laughs> they have built Lince Dorado to do that? I, if, I, because he doesn't have like you know you have Kalisto coming in. I noticed they and I forgot about all about this until they started saying it on the commentary. Kalisto is he's, he's taking the hair off. That's really oh, itchy. No. Oh Sorry. no! But you, Chad wears it all night, dude. Yeah, on well, Tuesdays Chad, for like an Chad's hour and a half. freak of nature. There you go. I love that you have the fake hair sticking up or, or with your real hair. Is it a little bit? I don't know. I don't know what's <laughs> that's all anymore. real. Oh, is that yours? That's that's your hair all is really real. shiny. Why do you how do you can what do you use for conditioner? Shampoo. Wait. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> There's the trip. There's the trick, guys. He shampoos shampoo for there. conditioner. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, wh- what the hell was my point? Um, but no, he was a former U.S. champion, so that brings a little bit to, you know, r- right? I, mean, I, ideally, I don't know. Ideally, that's the way. I guess. Coming. Hey, this is a guy that had a major title, and here he is playing in the. The cruise thing is, is he had a major title and did nothing with it. Yeah, not the greatest Honestly, era of it. if they didn't tell you that he was a U.S. champion, would you have remembered that he was a U.S. champion? I doubt it. No, I, I remember his feud because I didn't. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He he had one. I think he didn't. He drop the title to. Uh, it was like with Del Rio, wasn't it? Like back and forth for a few times, and then he just faded away. Yeah, he had I, a feud with Ryback over it, didn't he? He, he, did, uh, he, he did. Maybe. He did. Yeah. But the point is, is like. He hasn't done anything in the last year. He beat Braun Strowman. No, he didn't. I just want to point out. So, that's 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 thing. so here, here, I just pulled up the website real quick for him. Everything on Kalisto's profile page is more interesting than what Kalisto actually did on his first episode on there, right? I mean, vis- visually. It is. That guy, go scroll up to the first photo. 
The first photo right up here. It's that. Like, yeah, it, that is not a guy you want to fuck with. Yeah, exactly. It's like that. That's the guy that, that. And then he's going around and doing his lucha thing, and high fiving kids, and being all buddy buddy. His weird video game lucha and music. Almost getting his ass kicked by Davari, mm. who is, for Intro lack of a man. better term, the J and J security of Enzo Amore. <laughs> right now <laughs> he kind of is at this point so what the hell like if it, it would be one thing if it was against like neville or brian kendrick or somebody who is imposing mm -hmm. right now but he's not when was the last time davari won a match mm, no yeah it's been a while i think he won one against gallagher didn't he maybe I don't remember Maybe. it if it happened. I don't remember either. He's not a guy that's gonna win fuse, but he'll win matches and fuse. You're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna build your character by beating him. It's expected that you beat him right now. You know? Like mm. there was no scenario in which Davari winning was like ever a real possibility, unless they were gonna push him as the guy to face Enzo. Which if they were, why bring Kalisto in? I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that we usually ask. You did change? Good, oh, I didn't bad. do my change. Oh, what's oh, your what was... change? What's your change, Bobby? Uh, my change would be to immediately forfeit the title off of Enzo and give it to Cedric Alexander. Just because. Just because, yeah. Because Cedric, Cedric, like when Cedric came back, I was like, oh man, he's ready. He's gonna, oh, he's I gonna know. win the cruiserweight title. And then they did nothing with him. Like it's, it's like, come on. And then now all these other guys jumped him in line. It's like, come on. He's gonna have Cedric's his moment on the this. WrestleMania pre-show. You have yeah. so much headroom in your shot now that you took your hair off. <laughs> it's it's just not proper anymore. <laughs> it's bothering me. The, my my videoness Here. is it's just bothering me. Is this better? I mean, there you go. Just there you go. There you go. Just hover, there. Just hover a little bit. I mean, I don't know it's Bobby's shot. Hover here. Bob, Bobby's <laughs> gonna do what he's gonna do. Shot wise, there you go. Well, guys, two hundred five live. It was a, I just, oh, oh! now I remember what we do. Oh, what do we do? Wait, did any of you guys watch any of the other shows? Bobby, you watched NXT, right? I watched NXT, oh. and then, well, I'll tell you, went on the NXT show. Okay, did, you, did nobody watch Lucha? <laughs> so, so out, of, the channel. out of the shows that you watched, Larry, where do you rank 205 Live? I would have to say two. Wait, well, no. wait, what shows are you comparing it to? Because I think you've only watched one of the three shows we usually compare. Well, I watched Raw SmackDown and 205 Live. Okay. And I watched Seven Minutes of Raw, so that automatically bumped that down to three. Oh, seven Minutes of Heaven. And <laughs> No, you know what? I'll say one. I'll say one. You say one? I'll say okay. one. It was, I, I, I think I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed two All right. SmackDown. All right. That's fair. Um, what about you, Bobby? Where do you? I'll say between the, of... Between this and NXT. Out of the two shows that I watch, I would rank this number two. <laughs> Over any, I mean, I mean, behind I NXT? Live, but like I said, I was watching Mayhem Show when it was on, and I was not paying attention as much as I should have. Right, right, right. So, right. you know. Uh, I'm going to go number two. Um, it's uh, No, Sorg, that's gross. Of the three <laughs> I watch, which is all three that we're going to be talking about, um, you, you can't beat Ultimate Lucha old. right now, and we'll talk about NXT. But again, everything was pretty good this week. There's a lot of interesting mm -hmm. happening. So thank you, everybody. Bobby F J Town on the Twitter. At Bobby F J Town. Larry, whenever you run into him in the street. I'm at the studio. Yes, right now. <laughs> there you go. On Beach View. There you Bike go. Bike Carrier Pigeon. Media dot com. <laughs> and yeah. oh, oh, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friend Tom Liturgy. Uh, we just posted today. As of this recording, our interview with him. Uh, this week, uh, we talked to him on the Indie Mayhem show. Bobby? Something. What, what, what is that? What is that? You're, inter you're, you're interrupting the ad read. What is it? I'm sorry. It's a tape measure. It's a measure. Measure. Anyways, this with. week, we talked with uh, Tom and Turgy, uh for our Indie Mayhem show. Uh, that actually released today. Check that out on the feeds. Uh, well, some folks may recognize as an in-ring voice for some local promotions here in Pittsburgh. He's actually... Uh, was on to promote something a little different, the history of professional wrestling in Pittsburgh. It's a class that he's going to be conducting through CCAC at their north campus up in Perry Highway in Canlis, up there in the North Hills. Uh, the class uh, starts October 11th. If you'd like to register for the class, it's $49. You can visit the CCAC site 
Uh, or click on the ad at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and it will take you directly to the class description and information on how to register. Uh, we will also be sharing the registration information on our social media for the Mayhem Show. Be sure to check it out. It's a great great time. We had a good almost hour discussion, and there's plenty more we talked. We talked for two hours after we were recording. It was, it was great. Wow. So please go check it out um, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, and if you have um, – if you have a local uh, wrestling history, go ask your college why it isn't getting covered. Because this is like the second course like where, this that's happening. So, where uh, was that when I was in college? I know, right? It's not accredited yet, but still, it's yeah. it's it's still awesome that that this is happening. So, yeah. go check it out. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you guys next time on the Midweek War.